Steve plays a game and can't come up with a better title for this show yet. I just finished up a freight market job. I dropped off my trailer, and now my truck is free. No current job and no attached trailer. My own trailer is stored back at my home garage in Tucson. It's late at night, and I am very tired, so it's time to find a good spot here in Holbrook to rest in my nice, big, sleeper cabin. Here we are. This is a great truck stop, and with no trailer weighing me down, I am more maneuverable than ever. Good morning. Now, let's pick a new job. Since I have my truck and not my trailer here, let's look at freight market jobs. I don't want to drive too far to pick up the trailer and risk the offer expiring, so I will look specifically for jobs here in Holbrook. I also like to sort in descending order by price per distance. That way, I make sure that my mileage is as productive as possible. This looks like a good one. Deliver cars. The triple red triangles mean that it's an urgent delivery, so the delivery window is very tight, and the symbol just below that means that the cargo is fragile. At 867 miles, it's also a very long distance job. All three of these things required that I level up certain skills to be eligible to take jobs like this, and they also provide bonuses to the value of the job, so absolutely let's take it. Now. I just need to drive my truck to the sender's location to pick up the trailer. What the hell? I can't believe it. That crazy, Global Mills, truck driver just tried to run me off the road. That has never happened to me before. Maybe it was some sort of fluke. I don't know how he could have missed me. I have my headlights and my beacons on. Well, whatever. At least I managed to avoid a collision. Jesus Henry Christ, he did it again. That was no accident. That asshole just freaking tried to kill me. He's out for blood. Oh, my God, he didn't even need to exit right there. He really was just trying to kill me. What the fuck? <laughs> Okay, now I am hauling a frack tank. I am very close to my destination, but I am also very tired, and I need to pull over to rest as soon as possible. Whoopsie doodle. I guess that car driver shouldn't have tried to go while I was making my nice, wide right turn. Oh, well, at least in the game you never have to stop the truck, get out, exchange insurance information, and call the police to report the collision. You just instantly have the appropriate cost automatically deducted from your bank account. How convenient.
Here we go, a nice rest stop. I could probably make it the rest of the way, but I have plenty of time, and it is better to be safe than sorry. What? Avoid sleeping violation. But, I wasn't sleeping. I was just pulling into the rest stop. What a load of crap. Well, I might as well rest anyway now. I'm carrying a harvester again. Huh, take a look at that broken truck. It looks like the same truck I saw that one time the Kraken got. No, no, not again, not like this. Screw it. I'll just reload my last autosave. I'm not paying to be towed out of the void. Great. Now I've almost got the harvester to Bushnell Farms where it belongs. The last leg of the journey is along this narrow dirt road, though. I just need to carefully navigate this. Uh, no one saw that, right? Yeah, no, it's fine. No penalty. Just act natural. Well, that's a funny decoration, huh? Now, behold another fantastic demonstration of my parking prowess. First, pull forward here. And then, with one, singular, careful reversal, I get the harvester exactly where it needs to be. Perfection. 